YouTubers. So I wanted to check in with y'all because I have been um, scouring, scouring, can I even say that? Scouring the internet looking for um, DIYs on how to do micro links on curly hair. Um, I've seen a ton of videos of, you know, salon professionals doing it on straight hair or um, um, mostly, you know, just been videos of people with straight hair getting, you know, micro links put in or micro wefts. Um, I saw, you know, some curly hair ones at salons, but I just didn't see anybody DIYing it at home. Hold on, let me check on my daughter. Yeah, so I just, for some reason, I haven't, you know, seen anyone put any videos of doing a DIY of curly human hair, kinky curly to be exact, curly hair uh, DIY micro wefts, micro links, micro beads um, at home. And so I was like, okay, well, challenge accepted. I get the gist of what you do. So I was like, I'm gonna do it. Then um, I could not find any eye tip hair. Eye tip hair is the hair that is already, um, it has the the glue, or the keratin bond glue already at the tip, or like at the root of uh, the hair, like the curly strands. It's called eye tip hair or U tip hair. Um, I'd seen maybe one or two on Amazon, but there was like no reviews or the reviews I did see, it was not good. Um, and then I found maybe two websites that had the hair, but it was really expensive. And I mean, it's 2020, nobody spends a ton of money on hair anymore. So I have some hair from IC Beauty. It's the Mongolian kinky curly hair and it's bomb, it's beautiful. I had a sewing with it. Um, I've made, I did the flip over method with it last year. So, and it's really close to my hair texture, which, you know, it's important when, you, you know, if you want to do micro links or micro weft, because the majority of your hair is out. Like, this is not a protective style at all. Like, you ain't protecting nothing. This is for adding length, adding uh, fullness to your, to your own hair. So, in this case, I want to wear my natural texture, curly texture. So, I'm going to go with hair that's the same or as close to the same as my hair texture. Um, also, you wanna make sure you choose good, really good quality hair because you don't want anything that's really dry or rough rubbing up against your natural hair, especially curly hair. Kinky curly hair is very, really fragile. So you have to be mindful that you can't just get any hair or cheap hair. <sighs> Long story short, I decided that I would make my own, my own eye tip hair, my own wefts. Um, and I'll put I'll put a link for, for where I got, you know, my tools and stuff and the hair. But um, basically I am gonna start a new series on micro beads, micro wefts, micro links. And I'm gonna start micro wefts because, you know, after I wear the wefts, when I cut, once I cut them to make the eye tip hair, you know, I can't go back, it can't go back to being a weft, so, plus it's easier. The, uh, the micro, uh, links in my hair, that's gonna take longer. The micro wefts is pretty quick, straightforward. Um, but yeah, so, I just wanted to share this with y'all, so that if you guys decide to do it at home, y'all will have a reference, since I did not have one. Alright, thank you for tuning in. So this is the after of what my hair looks like. I have put, I want to say five, five rows of hair in, and then I already blended it. This is a wash and go with my um, flaxseed gel, and I also used um, Lovely Bee's leave-in, and then her edge control. But you cannot even tell that I have micro links in. Like, it feels, I can't even feel them. I feel nothing, like, it doesn't feel heavy. You can't see anything, like. 
and my hair is dry by the way this is dry hair so you might want to check out my flaxseed gel too all right let's get into it micro link buffs coming to you <laughs> 